This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. European gas prices surged again on Wednesday after a delay in the approval process for a major new pipeline from Russia, which German government sources said might not now be commissioned until March next year. Germany's energy regulator suspended the process for getting the Nord Stream 2 pipeline up and running on Tuesday, dimming hopes that it will provide any significant gas supplies to Europe in the coming months. Delays in the approval process for Nord Stream 2 have raised fears that Europe, which gets a third of its gas from Russia, could face power outages this winter due to low supplies. Oil prices fell on Wednesday after the International Energy Agency, IEA, and OPEC warned of impending oversupply and as COVID-19 cases in Europe increased the downside risks to demand recovery, though a fall in U.S. gasoline stocks curbed losses. Brent crude futures dropped 32 cents, or 0.4 percent, by 14.10 GMT to $82.11 a barrel. U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude futures fell 43 cents, or 0.5 percent, to $80.33 a barrel. The IEA on Tuesday warned that while the oil market remains tight by all measures, a reprieve from the price rally could be on the horizon, due to rising oil supplies. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. The Biden administration on Wednesday will auction oil drilling rights to 80 million acres in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico days after joining a global agreement that for the first time targeted fossil fuels as the main driver of global warming. The sale by the Department of Interior will be the first under President Joe Biden, whose administration paused drilling sales under a promise to end development on federal properties. But Biden lost a court fight to oil-producing states that sued to reinstate the sales. The administration has appealed in a suit by environmental groups seeking to halt the sale as pending. The U.S. is moving ahead to hold onshore lease auctions in several states early next year. A German regulator's decision to suspend licensing of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline from Russia to Germany could delay commissioning of the infrastructure until March next year, government sources told Reuters. Tuesday's move has sparked gas price surges while policymakers in capitals across Europe and the United States evaluate its implications. The Swiss-based Nord Stream 2 consortium must form a subsidiary under German law to show it has enough funding and independence from its Russian parent Gazprom before the four-month certification period resumes. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. The global markets will need four times the nickel and double the copper in the next 30 years to facilitate a decarbonized world, a BHP Group executive said on Wednesday. Some of the modeling that we have done showed that in, let's say a decarbonized world, the world will need almost double the copper in the next 30 years than in the past 30, said Van Dieter Pant, BHP's chief commercial officer at the Fort Commodities Asia Summit. And for a commodity like nickel, that quadruples. So four times nickel needed for the next 30 years than the past 30 years and all to be done as sustainably as possible, Pant added. Colombia will begin taking offers in its first bidding round for gold exploration contracts in early 2022, the head of the National Mining Agency said on Tuesday, as the Andean country continues efforts to diversify its mineral output. Colombia has long hailed its as yet largely untapped deposits of gold and copper, among other minerals as the future of its mining industry, especially amid output and price troubles for coal. What we expect is to have the first mining round for gold at the start of next year, Juan Miguel Duran told Reuters on the sidelines of the Columbia Gold Symposium in Medellin. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. French soft wheat shipments outside the European Union last month reached their highest for an October since the 2014-15 season as shipments to China ramped up following a slow September, Refinitiv data showed. Soft wheat exports to destinations outside the 27-country block totaled 973,300 tons in October, the fourth month of the 2021-22 season, an initial estimate based on Refinitiv loading data showed. China was the largest non-EU destination for French soft wheat for the second consecutive month, 
with an initial estimate of 431,500 tons, followed by Algeria with 193,400 tons. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.